guys, it's Imogen aka Miss Simo Insane and welcome to my video. So today I decided I'm going to alter up these two things that I got in pound, at Victims of Pound, so the pound shop yesterday. Um, so if you've seen my whole video that I posted up, um, you will see that I got these two candle holders. and kind of broken further so this one it did have this eye on it why the spider has these kind of eyes i don't know so i was going to chop them off and he go like he was on there and then i realized i could maybe pull him off and just have the legs and i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this can we focus a little bit better yeah so the legs are just still on there and i pulled off the body with the intention of making a new body so that was the plan and then i looked at this this spider which was hanging on here we need to go back to focus which was hanging on here and he doesn't have the correct amount of legs he only has six legs so I got thinking, could we somehow fix this? And um, ages ago, I got some of these. In fact, I got a whole bunch of these in a job lot of. Are we gonna focus? In a job lot of, of broken jewelry. So these were brooches, and the only thing really wrong with them is that some of them their legs have snapped off so i figured that i could snap some more legs off and maybe use his body on here so that's my theory anyway so i'm gonna start by making him a little safer so i'm gonna get some jewel pliers and he was a brooch i don't know how well you can see that so i'm just gonna snip off the brooch part and I did actually do a Halloween, a Halloween video on a bottle that I did a couple of years ago on my old channel. And it was like a really popular goth video on YouTube um, for home decor for goth stuff. So I don't know if I should leave that on that channel or if I should transfer it over to this channel. It's not going to help. I'm going to start pulling his legs off. Now I don't recommend that you go around pulling the legs off of spiders at all but I'm just going to pull them off roughly and this metal is actually really really super easy to just cut with these so I'm going to try and make him as flat as I can or as legless as I can I have some rub and buff. So I'm going to rub and buff. So, sorry about that. I'm going to take some of the silver leaf rub and buff on my finger and I'm just going to work it. You can see what I'm doing, but so, 
Okay, yeah, you can see tons better with this light. So you can see where I just kind of went over this main area. And I'm not going to do the back. So this is the color it was initially. And this is how it is now. So I just very lightly try to transfer just a little bit onto the middle. I think I'm gonna do that like that. Like a bit really just yep. So that's how that's looking. And that's how it's going to look. So I like that. So now we need glue. Okay, so while the glue gun heats up, I'm going to use some of this rub and buff to go over some of this so it's kind of matching. So I'm hoping you can see the difference between the black and where I've rubbed this on slightly. Um, I figured you don't need to see me do all of the rub and buff. Um, literally all I'm doing is I'm just very faintly transferring it on. I suppose the irony is that if they'd come in silver, I would have put it back. Okay, so that's now this. And it's very silvery. And then this. And it looks like my glue gun is ready, so let's see about gluing this guy. Um. Let me get it on all parts of him and then we're just going to quickly try and make sure that there's a good amount in there as well. And then I'm hoping we can glue him in place and he is metal so he is now very hot. is fine but we may go in and just try and so that's my altered up and I will include some pictures of him. But I'm really pleased how that turned out. Okay, so obviously we took the spider off of this that was hanging. I mean, there's still the hanging loop here. Um, but we took the spider off. So I want to add in a new spider. And to do that, I'm going to use this little charm of a spider that I have here. I'm not focusing. But, and then I was going to use some black jump rings, but all I have is sort of like this good metal, gun metal black. So I'm thinking we can make a little bit of a chain for him using these, which are, let's see, four or five millimeter jump rings. I think they are five millimeter jump rings, but they could be four millimeter. And these ones, which are about seven millimeter jump rings. And obviously the spider, but the spider is a bit too silver for my liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of black acrylic paint. And I'm going to paint him slightly. I'm going to take some waste packaging so as not to make too much of a mess 
and I just want to darken him up. Like, I don't want him to be completely black, but I want to darken him up a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover him in black. And of course you always twist, jump rings sideways, never And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spider who is pretty much as dry as he will be. Um, we're going to attach him onto that final ring, and then I'm going to take one of these bigger rings. So he then hangs like so. On the side. So we still have the spider and he hangs and he twirls and he does this thing. Put the votive glass holder back in and there we go. So he's now much more classier. I like it. I like it better than the things that were on before. So now we're going to tidy up, take some pictures, and back in a moment. So these are the finished things. So we've got this little spider who hangs on here, and you can hang it. I've just put some sand in the bottom of this votive, and put this candle in here. And it's a lovely orangey ambery glass, so it gets a really nice glow. And then the spider, which I actually um, I went over him with some black acrylic paint in the same way that I did the other spider, just because he seemed a bit too bright. Um, and I thought I'd filmed that, but apparently I didn't. And then I also painted over where the glue is with the black acrylic paint, so you can't really... He just seems like he's meant to be on there, like he's always been on there, and it's not been altered by me. I really, really love how this turned out. And then I just put this orb candle on the top, which I got forever ago. So these candles, um, I got this one from the pound shop and I think it was like twice the height if not more when I initially got it and I've used it quite a lot um, so the candle holder was a pound the candles a pound and then the things I've added to it I have a whole bunch of charms because I make jewelry and stuff so to me um, I think I got these spiders in a pack of like 13 for a pound something like that on eBay these orbs I actually got two for I think they were a pound for two or the pound yeah, I think they were two for a pound, and I got two of the balls, and I got two eggs, which I thought I'd use for a star, and then just didn't. So, they're silver, and they're just really quite pretty uh, orb-type candles, and all four of them were in silver. really pleased with how they turned out and they are my altered candle holders i hope you've enjoyed this video and it may have given you some ideas and uh, i will see you soon bye